The film business is incredibly competitive and pumps millions of dollars into local communities. But you have to be able to convince the production companies to come to your state. And the film industry in North Carolina had a shaky year last year. So what's in store for 2016? WNCN investigates Jonathan Rodriguez has tonight's special report. The film industry does go for the best incentives. Case closed. The new year could mean a lights out on many North Carolina TV and film projects. It was damaging to local people. Hey, Mark. The boat has a hole, and you've got to decide, are we going to somehow put a temporary patch on and try and keep this thing afloat, or are we just going to say that's it, and abandon ship and everybody jump off? When it comes to TV and film, North Carolina has made a name for itself. The entire state benefits from the film industry. More than 400 productions have been shot here from short series to box office blowouts. Thousands of scenes like this one have been engineered right in our backyard, and most of it is centered right here at EUE Screen Gym Studios in Wilmington. Bill Vassar runs the place. Dino De Laurentiis had built this operation back in the 80s, and he brought people in from all over the world to work on the shows, painters, carpenters, gaffers, grips, riggers, and taught locals how to do it. Vassar says what he left is a legacy of local crews ready to work in a community that knows how to service the film industry, along with the millions of dollars it brings with it. The money keeps going through the community. Welcome to Stage 10, one of the biggest studio spaces on the East Coast. It's here that your favorite TV shows and films come to life. It's empty right now, but once production starts, this space could be filled with hundreds of people, and most of them are local. An average TV show or film is going to have 125 people to work for them. On those series when they're here, probably employ, you know, 90, more like 95% local individuals on those productions. Johnny Griffin helps recruit and keep films in the area. He says 2014 was a good year. Locally here, film production spent about 175 million. Statewide, I think it was about 300 million. But in 2015, the industry in our state was hit with a storm. The state got a bit more frugal and didn't see the importance of the film industry to the economy. I think some groups took advantage of it in the past that uh, had nothing to do with the, the, the longevity of the film industry. After a lengthy back and forth, the General Assembly let the state's long-lived tax incentive program run out, replacing it with a much smaller grant program. So it was a drastic impact for us. People have left. They have moved to Atlanta and, and other places where there's, there's plenty of work. Production started to flee the state. And people basically say, well, We've heard that you no longer have an incentive. And if that's the case, then you're not on our list to do business with anymore. Cut, let's do it. And it's not just the local film crews who are hurting. When you don't have that amount of people coming in, it makes it tough. Jed McDonough runs Image Monster, an all-in-one print shop. This business had nothing to do with film, but the silver oh, screen ended up being one of his biggest customers. Anything you can think of that you see in a movie, if it was shot here, we probably did it. That is until 2015. It was like turning off the faucet. It literally ended. Griffin says film spending in our state dropped by more than 50%. <laughs> but like Iron Man coming to save the day at the last minute, lawmakers realized North Carolina had to get back in the game. Starting this year, they've secured funding to provide up to $30 million in tax incentives, half of what it used to be. <laughs> But it's the news the industry was hoping for. Got things cooking down here again. We're optimistic it's certainly going to be a better year than 2015 was. Camera! Griffin says the new incentive plan is not enough to grow the industry, but it's put us back on the map. And it's the only way to keep cameras rolling in North Carolina. You know, we've got two projects coming in later this month. We've got others that we're talking to. Uh, and so once again, we're sort of back on the list again, and we're getting a positive reception. Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News, now. And you can see just how much the state has paid each year in film incentives on our website, WNCN.com.